Hello folks, welcome to another video from Iron Horse Railways. This is just a little quick video for a Sunday morning on how I'm going to build a nice little calling area on a siding on the new little Steve Thomas line slash Oakvale slash shunting steam layout. So this is a ratio kit uh, by Pico. I'm using a nice little scenic cement to, not scenic cement, a plastic cement to fix it all together. And the second half of this video is going to be constructing the courtyard itself. I suppose constructing is the wrong word. More orchestrating, perhaps. We'll just see. Anyway, I'm going to shush and let you watch my speedy, speedy hands put this kit together. Alright, so now that we've built our little um, 
coal area staging building thing. Coal staves and the little coal master's cottage office building. This is going to be the site we're actually going to build the coal yard on. So we've got the siding in place there and we've got the buffer stops at the end. So we took the house from before. I'm going to get calling a house. I've applied a little bit of weathering just with the powders and a little bit of basic paint. And then I'm going to also do the But well, then this next bit, the, I'm just going to use the little, little bit of this just to make dust it modeling right clay to create like a wagon. Platform, well, not a platform. A, um, for lack of a better word, a forecourt, if you will, whatever you want to word. But it also gives us a good way to bed the coal cottage, coal house office, and the coal stave into the environment. And all I'm doing is just shaping it with my hand. Placing it roughly where I want to get the uh, the effect in place, and then it's just smoothing out with your fingers and a little bit of soapy water, just to help get it into shape a little bit. You can also see what I'm doing here is just putting the buildings in place roughly and loosely, just to make sure we've got a good bit of clearance between the the largest wagons I intend to use and everything else. Just helps you get an idea of where you want to put things and then add more clay just to expand the area that, it, that we're going to work on almost like a what's the word i'm looking for foundations that's it almost like a bit like a foundation really it just helps to flesh out the whole thing and helps you bring it together in your mind's eye if you will and don't forget to wrap up your dust clay because it does air dry so bear that in mind now once you finish doing that, you can just take your coal stay of house, coal office building, hit forget the name of the damn thing. And you can just gently push them into the dust modeling clay. Then you can use the clay whilst it's still wet, just to run up the sides of the articles there. And it really does help to bed the whole thing in rather nicely. And it just helps it become part of the landscape rather than it looking like it's sat on top of the landscape. So it just helps bring it all together much nicer again quite a lot of smoothing out to be done with the water in your fingers but it is worth it next up we're going to mix up some pva and a little bit of that soapy water mixture into a little dropper bottle that i've got and this is for the next part which is going to be fixing some um, ballast to the coal state now i'm using ballast because of the size of it yes it's the wrong color but don't worry about that because we do use a bit of weathering powder to give it that nice matte black coal finishing effect you'd expect to have with something like this. Then you're just going to drop your glue on there and spread it around with a good old index finger there and then you can start introducing your, um, your what do you call it, your ballast or if you've got real coal you can use real coal too or whatever you want to use there for this part but the, the method would be the same just get a good bit of that PVA mixture on there and I'm just using the Jarvis stuff, or the Javis, however you want to pronounce it. I, I think it works really well. It's very affordable, a couple of quid for a bag. And it allows you to just be a bit more carefree with the application. The Woodland Scenic stuff is very nice, but it's quite expensive for what it is. So I do try and save that if I can. That said, we do have a little bit of that coming up as well. The Fine Cinders, I believe it is just as like a top layer which we're going to put over the um, the base layer of intended coal if you will and then it's a case of wetting it through with your water mixture and then chucking your pva mixture on top of it layering it up a bit like we are doing here and that'll help bring the whole thing together nicely And the last step now we've got the weathering powder involved this is the humbro stuff again plenty of this uh, you could also use the world war scenic stuff you could use the dcc concept stuff but like i said previously in other videos that stuff is brilliant for weathering models because it's almost all pigment and it's quite um, expensive so save that for the best stuff for scenics and on environments and things the world war scenic stuff and the humbro stuff is much more cost effective and it's important you get it on there while it's still wet and damp. So the coal effect will 
really take hold now this is all going to be still damp from what we did before and it's also a good opportunity at this moment in time while the clay is still a bit damp and receptive to the impression to just get the edges blended in with the rest of the layout just so there's not so much of a harsh edge between the actual clay and then the pre-ballasted area as well and of course i've got myself in the way again there's no need to put it in the comments i need to make sure this is done properly i can't really put the camera anywhere else so yeah it is what it is and once you're happy with your level of college and you've blended it in with the powders and what have you um, let it dry and we're going to come back to this in the morning and just see how it looks once it's all had a chance to dry off and set nicely. And here we go, morning after. As you can see, all that coal has set nicely. It looks really good, nice and matted. You can see the clay underneath there, which gives a nice stone floor finish effect, which is excellent. Everything's fixed in place, lovely. And there's just enough clearance at the back of the stave and the coal shed there for the little coal wagons to make their way in uninterrupted unimpinged unhinged all i need to do now is fit a little uh, bridge to divide the layout from the fiddle yard and i think that will be done this is a quick exercise to show that anyone can do it folks nice one hope you enjoyed that one folks just a little cookie for a mother's day sunday morning Hopefully, I might have more videos coming on a Sunday as well, but we'll have to wait and see how this one does. Till then, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you all soon. Cheers now. Bye-bye.